Fall down and make a mess. Break something occasionally and remember that the story is never over. Beware the man of one book. Beware the man of one book. There's much pleasure to be gained from useless knowledge. And if you don't get too emotional when you like to, when you like to be, you will be less likely to get too emotional when they don't count. Do the thing you fear most and the death of that fear is certain. Mark Twain. Never grocery shop on an empty stomach. If only we'd stop trying to be happy, we'd have a pretty good time. Don't give advice, it will come back and bite you in the ass. Why not seize at the pleasure at once? How often is happiness destroyed by preparation? Foolish preparation. The teachers are everywhere. What is wanted is a learner. Nobody should give the shit about an actor's opinions on politics. Do not be too moral. You may cheat yourself out of much life, if so. If you make every game a life of death proposition, you're going to have problems. For one thing, you'll be dead a lot. It always seems impossible until it's done. Once a guy starts wearing silk pajamas, it's hard to get up early. Sing the melody line in your head, in your own head. The superior pilot uses the superior judgment to avoid situations which require the use of superior skill. You can overcome anything if you don't belly ache. Your assumptions are your windows of your world. Scrub them off, even once in a while, or the light won't come in. A life directed chiefly towards fulfillment of personal desires sooner or later always leads to a better and a bitter disappointment. Beware of overgreat pleasures in being popular or even beloved. If people sat outside and looked at the stars each night, I'll bet they'd live a lot differently. Trust and certainty to bring you to a clarity. I never tried to tell anybody else what to do. Number one. And number two, I think that what the individual is all about, each one of us is something to contribute and has something to contribute. Each one possesses exactly what each one is working out and what each one works out relates to their particular set of circumstances of any one day or any one place around the world. Pray for the dead and fight like hell for the living. Mother Jones 80% of the people who hear your troubles don't care, and the other 20% are glad you're having them. First learn the meaning of what you say and then speak. Never use a metaphor, simil, or the figure of speech from which you use to sing in print. Never use a long word where a short one will do, and if possible, cut a word out. Always cut it out. Never use the passive voice when you can use the active voice. Never use a foreign phrase, scientific word, or a jargon word if you can think of an everyday English equivalent. Break any of these rules sooner than say anything out right barbarous. Barbarous. And don't despair, not even over the fact that you don't despair. Don't wait until the time where the market is just right to start investing. Start now. The best time to plant an oak tree was 20 years ago, and the second best time is now. Find things that shine and move towards them. Go to the edge of the cliff and jump off. Build your wings on the way down. Learn what, learn what pitch you can hit good. Then wait for that pitch. Get into the game. Read a little every... Read at every weight. Read at all hours. Read within leisure. Read in times of labor. Read at one as one goes in. Read as one goes out. The task of educated minds is simply put, read to lead. Don't hit at all if it's horribly possible. If it's honorably possible, don't hit at all. Avoid hitting. But if you have to hit, never hit softly. Do your homework at all costs of your life. If you want to have a good idea, you must have many ideas. Most of them will be wrong, from which you have to learn, from which the ones to throw away. It's not enough to swing at the ball. you got to loosen your girdle, and you have to really let the ball have it. Don't start an argument without somebody who has a microphone. Don't start an argument with somebody who has a microphone when you don't. They'll make you look like chopped liver. Remember, there's a big difference between kneeling down and bending over. Always avoid meeting with time-wasting morons. Invest at least as much time and effort in choosing a new stock as you would by choosing a new refrigerator. And if I meant to lift a line of a diehard whose identity is lost in the shuffle, I'd rather be strongly wrong than weakly right. Don't sidestep suffering. You have to go through it to get where you're going. Be helpful even if it compromises you. Be thankful to what you have done. You'll end up to having more. And if you concentrate on what you don't have, you'll never ever have enough. Yes, speak softly and carry a big stick, but don't mumble and don't swing the stick. And if you can't change your fate, change your attitude. Never turn your back on a threatened danger or try to run away from it. If you do that, you will be in double danger. But if you meet it promptly and without a flinch, you will reduce the danger by half. Never run away from anything. Never. 
Just play everything at hand. You can miss them all. Always praise them before you hit them. Happiness is a gift of the trick of not to expect it, but the delight from when it comes. This is very important to take leisure time. Pace is the essence without stopping entirely and doing nothing at all for the great periods. You're going to lose everything, whether as an actor, anything, housewife, to be a great pauses between highs, whereas you do nothing at all. You just lay on your bed and stare at the ceiling. This is very, very important. Just to do nothing at all be, is very, very important. Always leave them laughing when you say goodbye. If you always do what interests you, at least one person will be pleased. Live by yes and no. Yes to everything good and no to everything bad. Wherever you go, go with all of your heart. Never be late. When you're late, you're going to start saying that your time is more important than other person's time. And that's pretty egotistical. It's not good running a pig farm badly for 30 years while saying, Really? I was meant to be a ballet dancer. By the time the pigs, by that time, the pigs will be your style. Be bold. If you're going to make an error, make a doozy. And don't be afraid to hit the ball. Never explain your friends do not need to. Never explain to your friends you do not need to. And your enemies will not believe you anyway. You're not going to learn. But you have to learn an instrument. Then practice, practice, practice. And finally get up there into the bandstand. Forget all and just wail. When you get to the end of your rope, tie a knot in it and hang on. What you spend in the years building may be destroyed overnight. Build it anyways. Never miss a good chance to shut up. Only a fool holds out for the top dollar. Always forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them so much. Anything you're rigid about sooner or later is rug is going to get pulled out from under you. Never go for the punchline. There might be something funnier on the way. Thou shalt not have many who know of thy love affair. Thou shalt not have many who know of thy love affair. You need to be absolutely paranoid about the currency and your knowledge and I ask yourself every day, am I really up to speed? Am I stagnating intellectually, faking it or even worse, falling behind? Am I still learning or am I just doing the same stuff in a different day? Or Otis Redding sings, sitting on the dock of the bay watching the tide roll away. Buy a steak for a player in another club after a game and don't even speak to him on the field. Get out there and beat him to death. Whatever you are, be a good one of whatever you are. Stare. It is the way to educate your eye and more. Stare, pry, listen, eavesdrop. Die knowing something. You are not here long. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Bend down once in a while and smell a flower. There's the fourth most important lessons I've ever learned in life I came across by my stepdad. Number one. The only person you can ever count on in life is yourself. Number two, you can't be happy with someone else until you're happy with yourself. Number three, don't lie and don't break your word. Note, the fourth lesson came out from my Aunt Jan who taught me, if you're interested in a girl, always meet her mom because all the girls end up eventually turning into their moms with no exceptions. Bill Simmons, believe in this world that there is meaning behind everything. Do not keep saying to yourself, if you can possibly avoid, but how can it be like that? Because you will get down the drain into a blind alley from the which nobody has yet escaped. Nobody knows how it can be like that. Never sleep with anyone who has more trouble or has less money than you have. The best way to get on the world is to make people believe it in their own advantage to help you. If you want to kill any idea in the world, get a committee working on it. And if you don't risk anything, you risk even more. It's morally wrong to let a sucker keep money. And if you challenge your own, and if you challenge your own, you won't be so quick to accept and unchallenged assumptions of others. You'll be at a lot less likely to be caught up in a biased prejudice or to be influenced by people who ask you to hand over your brains, your soul, or your money because they have everything at all figured out for you. Chase after the truth like all hell, and you'll free yourself even though you've never touched its coattails. A cucumber is bitter. Throw it away. There are briars in the woods. Turn aside from them. This is enough. Do not add. And why were such things made in the world? Never say anything on the phone that you wouldn't want your mother to hear on a trial. You don't have to rush down the hill. You can walk down. If people don't occasionally walk away from you shaking their heads, you're doing something wrong. Read everything. Beware of irony when making judgments. Of all the dispositions of the mind, irony is the least intelligent. The nearest way to glory is a shortcut as if it were, is to strive to be what you wish to be and what you thought to be. Just remember, we're all in this alone. Don't give your opinions about art and the purpose of life. They are the littlest interest. In any ways, you can't even express them.